All right, hola amigos. Uh, I'm gonna do a movie review of a movie that I watched last night, and the movie is called Left Behind. It is the 2014 version, and uh, it's got this guy here. He's uglier than dog poop. I forget his name, Nicholas Cage. Okay, and uglier just as ugly as anybody you'll ever see on TV never doesn't matter who cares now the imagery is great the actors are fantastic the production is superb and the direction is delicious okay whatever the story is dog poop now the problem with the story is that you notice about it takes about 30 minutes into the movie and everybody just you know or millions of people or whatever disappear just uh, you know their their clothes just fall to the ground and everybody's sitting around scratching their uh, their heads and wondering hey what happened to these guys now there's a lot of problems a lot of problems with what's going on in the scene. All right. First of all, let's get into that. All right, because this I think the next thing I'm gonna say is gonna scare you. But the first thing I'm gonna say here, let's go to Luke. We can go to Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, and this is all the, describing the same moment. All right, when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Well, where am I at here? Oh, there we are. And so, when there are signs in the sun and the moon and the stars, all right, this is when Jesus is coming in the clouds of heaven. All right, so when we first, if when we see these things, then He's coming, and this is going to be very fast. Okay, um, if, if when this happens, men's hearts are going to fail them for fear it's not gonna be oh where'd George go you know it's gonna be obvious to everybody on earth there's gonna be no doubt about it people are gonna have heart attacks because they know the end of the world has come there's not gonna be any mistake about it and so in the movie people are, are left scratching their rear ends wondering what the heck just happened well that's not accurate at all and uh, the thing that really um, angers me is this idea that all these unsaved people can wait until after the Lord Jesus comes after the rapture to then believe and be saved that's not the case at all because when it's the end of the world the time is up there are no more opportunities to be saved the day of salvation is right now okay I feel like I could go on and on and on and on about that but I just want to make that clear that there will be no mistaken about what is happening when Jesus comes and we are raptured up. Let's go to Matthew 24 real quick. It says, Every tribe on earth will mourn. All the tribes, here, the key word being all, all the tribes of the earth will mourn when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. And this is when the rapture happens, they shall gather together his elect. So there's not going to be any mistake about it. All right. Now, um, again, the, the biggest problem, the thing that I hate, and that I, the thing that I know God hates is this idea that you can wait until after to believe. you got to believe today. If you put it off tomorrow, it might be too late. It probably will be too late. All right, so today is the day of salvation. You gotta, you know, <laughs> you gotta believe now. Otherwise, 
you're in serious trouble. Every second you put it off, you're in serious trouble. And you should never teach anybody that they can wait a moment longer to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you think about, uh, what is that? What, what must I do to be saved? You know, if you want to preach the gospel, just tell them, hey, if you want to be saved, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, that's it. Now, I, I understand it gets a little more complicated than that when you got people claiming to believe in Jesus Christ. I get it. But if somebody's sincere, that's all they need to do is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So another problem is um, it, it seems to me that all the children are saved and all the old people are saved. Now, I, maybe I'm wrong but that's what it appeared to me and so this would make Jesus out to be a liar and I think there's a reason why they classify this as science fiction because um, they know full well that this entire movie is contrary to the Bible um, the problem is 99% uh, of the preachers in the world today they didn't realize they don't know that this is not sci-fi they, they think this is the real thing they're getting their doctrine from this movie and they're saying to hell with the Bible and that's a problem man that's a big problem I hate to see it but that's what's going on no question about it people are getting their doctrine from a Hollywood movie alright so um, Jesus says that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit so what I really hate as well is this idea that you're teaching that children don't need to believe in Jesus to be saved that they're just saved because they're children Jesus clearly says you must be born of the spirit and it's a huge mistake to teach that children don't need to believe in Jesus to be saved as if there was another way in fact what it does is it encourages people to kill their children because if they're saved as children and then they become unsaved as adults well you better kill them as children okay because once they get to a teenager watch out the whole the whole thing is just insanely wicked alright so you ought to be teaching parents to preach the Bible teach the Bible read the Bible with their children never ever teach parents that their children are saved no matter what that's horrible it's wicked evil alright and you know we can get into that more if you want to have a conversation on that um, you, you can't look you can't you keep this in mind if you're gonna uh, continue this conversation about this idea you gotta be very careful not to make Jesus out to be a liar okay except a man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's no exceptions. Alright. And I think that's about it. There were all there was a, okay, so one more thing. There's the this idea, well, um, you know, I think a woman walks into a church and there's a preacher there. And the preacher says this is the beginning of seven years. And um so I guess the assumption is that um, there will be a seven year tribulation and it's, it still goes back to what I said earlier this is, there's, it's not a second chance and the tribulation that we go through is not the tribulation that people preach alright so think about what Jesus said here in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world
Okay. So when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and we are lifted up, then the wrath of God is poured upon people, the unsaved people. Alright, so there's no... It's not a tribulation period. It's the wrath of God. The tribulation is going on right now. And nowhere in the Bible does it talk about a seven year tribulation. That's that's more sci-fi. And more evidence that people are getting their doctrine from this Hollywood movie and not from the Bible. Okay, that's it for my movie review. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time. It's stupid. It's evil and wicked. It's disgusting.